and welcome to your favourite teacher. Today we'll be looking at the particle model and density. Interesting stuff. In a solid, the particles are packed closely and arranged in a regular pattern. In a liquid, the particles are packed closely but can move relative to each other. In a gas, the particles are far apart and arranged randomly. If this completely blows your mind, then of course revisit our chemistry lesson on states of matter. Density can be used to compare how closely packed particles are. Density is calculated using the following equation. Density equals mass over volume. Mass should be in kilograms, volume should be in meters cubed, and density is in kilograms per meters cubed. Let's have a little look at an example question. Calculate the density of a piece of steel with a height of 2 metres, a width of 1 metre, a length of 3 metres and a mass of 48,003 kilograms. You need to calculate the volume of the steel by doing height times width times length, so 2 times 1 times 3, which equals 6. Now you can substitute the values into the equation density equals mass over volume. So 48,003 over 6, which equals 8,001 kilograms per metres cubed. If you thought that was exciting, we can also look at the density of the same material when it's either a solid, a liquid or a gas. The density of a material when it's a solid or liquid is often very similar as the particles are packed tightly in both states, but the density is lower for a gas. For example, if you had a saucepan of liquid water, it would have a density of one kilogram per meter cubed. If you then boiled the water so it's evaporated, it would still have the same mass of water, as mass is conserved during the change of state, but the water molecules are now in a much larger volume, the whole room, so the density has decreased. So, to summarise, density is a way to measure how tightly packed the particles are. Density can be calculated by dividing mass by volume. For a given material, the density of the solid and liquid are very similar, however the density of a gas is always much lower. I'm Miss Meeks and we've been looking at the particle model and density with your favourite teacher.